Hello and welcome to the Liberian TV Network. And can you please say your phone name to us because we know you as best dressed in Liberia and tell us more about yourself and have my sympathy. I learned that your mother passed off at the age of 114. Yeah. I'm so sorry for that. Can you please say your phone name to my viewer? What they call me? Reverend Heron Brown Jr. Reverend Heron Brown Jr. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us a bit about yourself because people just know you as best dressed? Well, I'm a Christian, a very strong Christian, not the casual discussion of Christianity. Yeah, I was born as a prophet, and I appreciate everything that God has done for me to this age. I'm an advocate, I'm a fighter. I want to liberate the youth of the Republic of Liberia because. The things that our parents have done, the errors of this nation, they made great mistakes. It's that they have sold the country to the devil. And so I'm trying to see how can I best liberate this country. I was born, I was chosen by God according to my revelations. That God have given me as a prophet. He said to me, Brown, you are a choosing child of God and a leader. Because you know, leadership comes from God. Leadership comes from God. And he said to me, You are a born leader. And one day, your time will come. And I will liberate you, I will give you the strength to fight. And so I appreciate God, I appreciate everything that he has done for me and my family. I try to be strong, I ask God every day to give me the strength. Yeah, so we have heard that you have actually been like talking about politics that you want to run someday. Which one of the positions do you want to run for? Uh, first of all, let me just make a correction. We all are created by God. We are politicians. Everybody. That's why you move. You are moved to build a house. You are moved to get married. You are moved to be systematic. You are moved to be committed. We all are politicians. But we are, we are talking about uh, interest. My interest has been from childhood because of the youth. Because it's the youth that will build the nation, not the, not, not the old people. They're dead already. But they made a great mistake. And today, the youth are being affected. They have become motorcycle riders, mini sellers. All the girls are in the street. They're selling popcorn, chocolate, biscuit. The next thing is prostitution. Going against God will. The children, they are moving into the street. When you're holding your phone in your back pocket, you don't hold it properly, they jack it. They jack your bed from your neck. They are there taking drugs. They're taking things that will, you know, uh, frustrate them because they are frustrated already. But you cannot blame the children because the country was sold to the devil. You see, so, so because of that, the youth generation that coming, uh, being destroyed. So, some of us, God got the power to move in. I'm moving in as president of the Republic of Liberia, not because of money, but the liberation of the nation. And I'm moving in with no party. Party is, 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 I don't know how to classify it. You go as an independent candidate. I'm moving in as independent candidate. Wow. Because this country needs to be redeemed. You're not going to get a job from him because of party affiliation. You are, you're going to get a job because of your qualification. And so I'm asking God to give me the strength. I am not against nobody. All Liberians in this nation have the right to run anywhere they want to, as long as you do it properly. And so I'm happy. So now, Liberians will say that Liberians will say that 
you are the best dress. There are money might leave behind your yeah, like your lifestyle. You always need, you always want to be need. But this is proving to you that I was born and designated by God because I started dressing from the age of six. Is that? And I'm still going on. So is it, it, is, it, is it because I don't have money and that's why I found the wrong for president? Said, no! I want to liberate the nation because the people are not fighting the privatists. They are privatists. Like, you don't have privatists. And if those privatists are not, are not privatized, like, you are not going nowhere. So what are some of the priorities? Very good. I love that. The first priority of Liberia is food. That's why God blessed us. He gave us rainy season. He gave us dry season. He gave us forage. We don't need fertilizer. They were making fun out of us. We don't need fertilizer. We can produce. Why do people keep ordering for red, ordering for red, and making things difficult for the youth? We got that youth I'm pleading for. That priority one. Priority two. We are rich. Very rich people, small in body, small in 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 learning structure, but we are rich. God has given us all the riches, but because of the attitude of, of the elders of the land, today we are all poor. And God said that those that this country was sold to the devil, so because of this. Liberia is not going to benefit the riches that he put here. The foreigners will take it away. If you want to prove go around, everything in this country belongs to foreigners, foreign investors. While the Liberians are suffering, they have become slaves to the investors. Because God is vexed. God vexed with this country. God gave us diamonds. He gave us gold. He gave us iron ore. He gave us crude oil. He Look, we are rich, extra rich. I, I don't know why God took me to the second dimension. I worked with the second dimension for years. How many years? Yeah, too much. I don't. I can't go there. Okay, over, uh, over, uh, on. Who rejoins? All the way from Tower administration to Ellen administration. And what tax are you doing there? Uh, I am the chief designer. Chief designer. Design. I see why you dress like this. Yeah, I am the chief designer of Republic of Liberia. And I also decorated for the Kalana tea. That was, I was in school. I don't know whether you were born. Because the Kalana tea took place in 79. I don't hotel, even know what it is. Okay, is that Hotel Africa. About? Okay, Hotel Africa. 79. But then I was student on La Kere Baptist Mission under Jeremiah W. Walker. Okay. Florence Walker. She had a home economic and I was part of the home economic department. I decorated for the Kalana tea for Republic of Liberia and Liberia. Republic of Liberia to first place in the whole world. Wow. Yeah, the That's Kalana great. tea. If you haven't heard about the Kalana tea. No. That's the Kalana tea. I dug away for the Kalana tea. And I, I, I'm happy because the Torba family did well. They helped me to get out of this land. And I went to school and learned more about interior and exterior designing. I helped the dog away the mansion. I have everything. And, and, and I'm happy that I'm still alive. I pray that we all become united. You see, the third priority, we are rich. We need factories. We don't need stores. Most of these stores that are established by these people, it's just, it, it, it's criminal money. They just want to take away the, they want to take away the money. That, 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 that they should think on that direction. Because the foreign investor opening these stores and can't take the money away. We need factories. Because when you open one factory, you will help the youth that are coming up to get a job and to get it, and they will stop stealing in the streets because they can afford one or two cents. So I'm not coming to power or fighting for power because I want money. I'm not looking for money. People are supporting me while I'm living. People come from all over the world. They send me gifts. They send me money. I'm not going around sharing money. I'm not going around sharing clothes. So you see, yeah. So, I'm a fighter. I've been fighting too long to this stage. That's good. So you were in Moravia, and lately we stopped seeing you in Moravia, not knowing that you are in Bomi County. What are you doing here? Very good. First of all, I belong to all the counties. I'm a Liberian. I do not discuss tribe because we all are one people. The way I grew up, I do not discuss tribe. I do not discuss nationality. 
we are all Liberian. And I will serve all Liberians. So you are being here. It's on which mission? It's just to get yeah, I come here. here. I am a priest. I left the Baptist compound and I, and, and I went to, to, to the prophet Sako. From childhood, I told you the elders, they've been the money a long time. That's why we cannot benefit the name. But some of us grew up and were given the power by God. God spoke to me from childhood to the age. So I left the Baptist a circle and I went to Aladura circle. So Every snow mother recommended me to Aladura circle or ever now I will not be alive. Every snow mother, Mary Snow, may God bless her, may God strengthen her, give her more long life. She brought me to Aladura, ever now I'm dead. Because I met her with witches, other areas that were higher than my fight. But I thank God, God delivered me. And so today I become a priest and in, so, the in the Adura system. Okay. So wherever they send me, I must go. I've been serving God and I will continue to serve God until God liberated me and made me the leader of the land. That will give me the power to fight. I don't want no society. I don't want no, I don't know how to call it. But I, I'm a priest and I want to be straight with God. I'm going to serve God. Nobody can closer to me but any idea that is now of God. I will fight you back. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to Librarian TV Newell. You're welcome. And we actually love your outfit. Thank you. I appreciate it.